What, which other kind of pro fighters that we know are you working with at the moment? Is there anyone kind of notable that we we? I saw, well, we just finished two, the last two and a half months with Maidana. Oh, of course. So, yeah, yeah and unfortunately, yeah, he's a you know whatever his promotional thing didn't work out or you know whatever. How much weight had he lost by the time he realised he wasn't actually going to come back? Oh gosh, I want to say forty around forty total over the three well, maybe 47 pounds wow do you think he'll keep it off now that he's not got that oh he, no, he's, yeah we've been still talking he's still like they got some uh you know he's having some um people look at the legal issues of okay. that what he was what he was convinced into talking to what he he ended up signing and you know try to get that sorted and, and so the door's not completely closed on him coming back yet i don't think so I don't think so. I think he loved it. I knew he was time. He was just, he didn't have an experienced team around. He didn't have an experienced professional team around him to, to bring him back. And I think that's what the problem was. It's a strange one because a lot of boxing fans seem quite happy that he seems to be retiring. Not because they didn't love watching him. He's a great guy to watch. But because he's made his money, he seems very happy in the pictures we've seen. It's kind of, yeah, he's one of the rare guys who's got out of boxing on his own terms. But you can only do nothing for so long. Sure. He's 35 years old and, and at heart he's a fighter. So sometimes, you know, that, that, that drive gets you up every day and, and you know, you're still, it's still an itch. You know, you may have all the millions and the gold the watches and the fancy clothes, but there's that itch to compete. And we saw that over the, last, over the training, over the last few months. And that's why we got so involved with it and, and we put everything into it. It's just unfortunately with the wrong group. How much of a buzz does that give you, though, personally, to bring someone back who was a great warrior and a real in shape, you know, fighter, volume fighter? to where he got, you know, huge, and now back to, to close to where he was before. It's, well, you know, it's a, it's a, um, it's, those are the challenges that we live for, you know, as, as, as you know, as, as coaches, as, as teachers, you know, to see, to, to take, you know, something and like, a, he's almost a normal person again and, and, and bring him back up to that elite level athlete that he was. So it gives us, it gives us that motivation, it helps us innovate, use our, our minds again, you know, it stimulates us to, to sit there and have those kind of challenges. And that's what, you know, that's what, you know, makes our, I think, my team one of the best teams in, in the sport, if not the best. Brilliant. Well, Alex, we wish you the best of luck in I Jeddah. I appreciate it. Thank and you. And going forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah.